Phil, I tell you, things were all right back then in 1913, but now we live in the fucking future, dude. That's and there's right. all kinds of crazy stuff happening here in the fucking future. Take a look at this, I mean, re man. relatively speaking, if you're uh -huh. talking about 1913, yeah, we definitely live in the future, for sure. I mean, way in the future by comparison. Way in the future, I mean, look at yeah. the shit we've got now, dude. Tesla's holiday Over update. <laughs> Software includes a noisy and controversial new feature. Check it out, guys. There's now no longer just ringtones. Now, if you have a Tesla, you can get honk tones and reprogram the horn in the car to instead play the song of your choice. They have gone full GTA with Teslas, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, uh, now... The thing is, I, I like it. I like the idea, but man, this is going to get annoying in a hurry. Remember how in the beginning when they first had ringtones on cell phones, every dumb motherfucker you know had to have some stupid song and have it up loud as shit in line at the bank. and You know what I mean? You're going to have to hear the shit at every fucking red light once people yeah. <laughs> start using this on a wide scale, dude. But what can you do? It's and the I, fucking I feel like loud. I feel like loud music isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to be the you know alert that a horn is supposed to be it's just gonna sound like somebody's playing loud music that's you know? fair you need to be able to like hit a switch so that either it's you know honk 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 if you need to get someone's attention or you can flip a switch to play a song i don't know man yeah. Some, don't you know. put in a fucking code i have no <laughs> idea you have to use your fucking authy code for it but in the future <laughs> shit's crazy not only do cars have musical fucking horns now but sometimes people just find just unbelievably valuable amounts of narcotics these days. 74 ah. pounds of cocaine is just found floating off the Florida Keys. What? What? Somebody just lost that much South American culture in the middle of the fucking Florida Keys? Jesus Christ, it's the future. It's the future. Not somebody not happy about it, I'll tell you that. Holy well, somebody's shit. not happy, but there's somebody that's very happy about it right Scrimpate. now. Scrimpgate! Scrimpgate! That's right, it's very scrimpy. I would like to know, I would like to see the blood cocaine content analysis of any scrimps that were found to be in the area when they found all this blow, man. I agree. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need to know all that shit immediately. So, like it says right here, 63 pounds of cocaine were found floating off the Florida yeah. Keys. Mm -hmm. And they immediately, of course, took all 52 pounds of it down to evidence. Mm -hmm. They checked mm -hmm. it in. They wrote it down on the form. It says it right there. 41 pounds of cocaine found floating off the floor. Well, it's Key West, man. They don't do math in Key West. <laughs> I, that's true. The math, Nobody I'm would have even figured it out, man. I'm just saying, what are they going to do with 35 pounds of cocaine, you know? You know, when you've only got 27 pounds of cocaine, it's hard to say what you might do. But that's still a big bust. 27 pounds is still a big bust. And, you know. Sure, yeah. Once they have to put that 23 pounds on the fucking stand and put it in front of the judge, he'll recognize that 19 pounds of cocaine is still an extremely large bust, <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. 14 pounds yeah, of cocaine, sure. that's, that's getting it off the streets, you know? That's right. Out of the hands of kids, yeah. you know? Yeah, I mean, you don't want. No, nobody wants, nobody wants nine like pounds of cocaine in the hands of kids well you know? just saying day in houston that's right when you have seven pounds of cocaine floating around out there kids could get a hold of it so instead they brought it in there and that five pounds of cocaine <laughs> became uh, just the most crucial piece of evidence because the trial for this went on for four weeks straight they didn't Damn. take a break whatsoever because those <laughs> that pound and a half of cocaine was very important uh, to this uh, to this very huge fucking trial that they had. I'll tell you what, though, man. Even with a pound of cocaine on the stand, there is a lot of crazy stuff happening in the future. And when you go through uh, 14 ounces of cocaine that quickly, <laughs> you can come up with some crazy ideas, man. Here's a crazy idea they've got in Japan that I'd love to see for myself. Guest takes photos from Super Nintendo World. What? Hell yeah! Oh my god, I want to go to this immediately, dude. Look at I this. Go I got to I got to show you this picture. I don't care if it's for kids or not. That's <gasps> awesome, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, you can ride Yoshi. Oh, how fucking cool, man. <laughs> you can jump jump on the turtles. And the thing is, you can't tell me that this isn't at least, like, partially made for adults. Kids don't know what the fuck Super Nintendo is. 
No. No. They they know they know the that's, why, that's how they know. Uh, yeah, exactly. Their parents still play it like a motherfucker, and I can't blame them. I can't blame I wanna them. Go jump on, I want to go jump on that flagpole. <laughs> that's right. You know what though? On Super Nintendo, it wasn't that. It wasn't the flagpole anymore. It was the the like uh, marathon tape. You break through it. Yeah. I say let's find the Wii later. I am down with that. Do you still oh, have you a v Wii? Dude, yeah. she has a Wii, has Mario Kart, and has the little steering wheels. So you How can play it with that. have we not played I know. Yeah, it? We haven't card? played it in a long time, but it's super oh, fun, yeah, man. Fucking blowing my mind. Phil, <laughs> I think it's in the room with you right now. I, it no probably is. Way. There's so much oh, well, to done. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap on Phil Gilmore, guys. Give it up. Let's give it up for Phil. <laughs> you guys See have you guys later. Card? I tell you what, though, man. It's not all fucking, you know... Uh, it's not all fucking cape feathers and Yoshi's in the future. Some things go <laughs> wrong with games sometimes. And I got to tell you, I'm feeling a little bit torn on this one. Although I'm leaning away from the people. I have to be perfectly honest, man. Let's take a look at it right here. In fact, we talked about it last week and it happened. Cyberpunk 2077 was hit with a class action lawsuit. Now, when we, I know, I know. When we talked about it last week, the assumption at that time mm, was that this was users who didn't get the game that they wanted. Now, they already got their refund. In my mind, once you get the refund, that's it. If you go to McDonald's, they put pickles on your burger. You didn't want pickles. You give it back to them, you get a refund. Your fucking transaction no is pickles. over. You, then, you do not get to turn around and sue McDonald's for putting pickles on your burger after they gave you a refund. And I assume that was nope. the case here. And because it's class action, that is part of it, but... They're talking about, there's also a part of this, if you read into it, that's talking about them defrauding investors in the game mm -hmm. because it wasn't what they said it was going to be. And oh. although I may not personally agree with that, that's um, that's an interesting point on that. Now, the users mm. that got their refund, fuck them. You got your money back. Get the hell out, man. Yeah, definitely. Defrauding investors, that doesn't seem right either because I know they turned a profit. I know they yeah. turned a profit. I don't but know. That, how, it depend, depends on how many refunds they're going to have to give like, out. How did they true? get defrauded? It's a video game and it's making a shit ton of money. Was it supposed to like come out of the TV and interact with you? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, it did do the thing. It did the job. This is a tough one, but I'm still leaning towards hmm. this being fucking ridiculous because, at least in my experience, game works fine. <laughs> I'm not a criminal. I'm an artist working in an unpopular medium. Can I just speak to you? I mean, really speak to you like, like man to man. I've known you for a long time, William. And I know about your penchant for spying on women.